Good morning, students. Happy Monday. Today, I'm really excited because we're talking about something new um, we're going to be learning about. And it's kind of a review because we did discuss some of it uh, throughout the year. Um, and we had a lot of homework assignments that focused on it. But I want to talk about uh, specific things about how to write a complete, correct sentence. Okay, and what does it mean uh, to write a correct sentence? What are some of the things that it has to have? Well, a sentence, the first thing we really need to focus on is starting the sentence. And no matter what sentence you write, every single sentence in the entire world has to begin with a certain type of letter. So if I wrote the sentence, the boy runs, starting it simple, what is the only letter that's capitalized? You see it? The first letter. Now, um, you don't have to do this for every sentence you write. You just have to do, oh, hold on a second. You have to write a capital letter at the beginning of your sentence for the rest of your life. So just know it. In every book I have on my bookshelves, every sentence inside each one of those books starts with a capital letter. So no matter what your sentence is about, it has to start with a capital letter. Um... One of my favorite foods in the whole world is tacos. Now, a lot of people like tacos, but I love them. I love tacos is my sentence. Now, there's only one of these sentences that is correct. Is this sentence correct? Is sentence A correct? Or sentence B? Well, let's look at that first letter. This one is no good. You never leave an I by itself like that, especially, especially in the very beginning of the sentence because we go back to the rule that every sentence in the whole world has to start with a capital letter. I don't care what the sentence is or what it's about. It has to start with a capital letter. All right, let's think of something. Um, let me think, think of a name. Um, Jordan. Well, Jordan would start with a capital J because all names start with a capital letters. But let's think of a, a way to describe a boy named Jordan uh, that's very general. It's not special and specific like his name. How about the word boy, okay? Um, not a great way to start a sentence. So let's start it with he, okay? Because you would never capitalize he or the H and he in the middle of the sentence. But if I was going to write a sentence and said he did great, did I do this correctly? Yes. Because the first letter of the sentence is a capital letter. Okay, and I've heard, I've had students say to me, oh yeah, capital letter, it's not such a big deal. Oh, boom, boom, boom. It, it is, it's a very big deal. You have to, have to, have to start it with a capital letter every time for the rest of your life. I'm not kidding. No teacher's gonna say, oh no, don't capitalize that starting letter. They're never gonna say that because you always have to start with a capital letter. He did... Great. He did great. I'm t it's a telling sentence. It's a statement. I'm saying what, he, how he did. He did great. Uh, but what else am I going to say? He did great at um, playing soccer. He did great at playing soccer with his friends. He did great at playing soccer with his friends on the soccer field. <laughs> Do you see my problem? 
it just kept, keeps going and going and going. The problem is I never stopped the sentence. So let's take a look at it. I can fix that problem with, with this right here. You ready? He did great. Let's say somebody asked me a question. How'd he do? He did great. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Go on. Why are they telling me to go on? Because I never put a special mark at the end of the sentence. That's called punctuation. And just like starting a sentence with a capital letter, punctuation has to go at the end. That tells the reader that my sentence has stopped. How'd he do? He did great. Oh, that's nice. They're not going to ask me for any more information because my sentence ended. If I don't put this here, it doesn't end. It just keeps going and going. And you don't want sentences that are super, super long. It's not fun to read. And then, and then, and then. You just, it's just going on forever. So you have to make sure you have that special punctuation at the end. Um, now, the period is for a telling sentence. Now, we're really not comparing sentences this week and kinds of sentences, but I did just want to just say one quick thing about what a sentence is. Now, this is also a sentence, but it's a little bit different. It's not telling you anything, and it's not giving you, it's not a statement that's telling you something. I like marshmallows, period, okay? This is doing something different. It's not telling you anything. This is waiting for you to say an answer. And a lot of close talkers ask you this. Where were you? Okay, let's say they ask you that question. First thing you say is, oh, I need one arm. Give me some personal space, please. Number two. Six feet. Um, where were you it gets a special mark at the end. But it's not a period. Where were you? Oh, no, that's not right either. That means strong feeling like, watch out for the dog. But I'm just asking where someone is. Where were you? That doesn't get an exclamation point or a period. This is a question. It's asking something and someone has to answer it. Unless you're just going to ignore someone, which is not polite. Where were you? Oh, I was in the basement making an ELA video, Mrs. Erlinger. That's where I was. Okay, so enough about that. So a sentence also has to make sense. Okay? I want to go get... Is that it? You want to go get what? If I don't say what I'm going to get, it's only a little piece of an idea. And that's not a sentence. My favorite fruit is the... All right, see you later. Is the, is the what? You were answering something, but you never finished a sentence. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Um, so that's saying what I'm talking about, but it's not saying how I feel about it. So let's take this sentence. If someone walked up to you and said, on the playground... See you later. What? What happened on the playground? Uh, do you like eating Captain Crunch on the playground? Do you like dancing on the play? What was he asking me? I, I, that was just only some of someone's idea, but it didn't give me the whole idea and it didn't make any sense. You can have a sentence that doesn't make any sense, but it will be a whole idea. I like eating macaroni and cheese in the bathtub. Doesn't really make sense, but it's a whole idea. I like, I is who the sentence is about, and I tell you what I like doing, okay? So a sentence has to have a thing, an object, or a person, someone, doing something or how they feel about something, okay? So the doing something is action, okay? Even having something could be an action, 
I have 10 crayons. That's a sentence because you're telling someone what you have. Okay? So sentences have to make sense. Um, I just wanted to ask everybody, what was your favorite... Does anybody even know what I'm talking about and what I'm asking about? No, that's not a sentence. Does anybody know what their favorite color is? That's a sentence. Now you understand. But if I said, does anybody know what their favorite... You're kind of like hanging and you're saying to yourself, that didn't make much sense at all. What is he talking about? He didn't tell me all the information. So sentences have to have all the ideas and have just one idea. Who are you talking about? What are they doing? Really important stuff. Start the sentence with a capital letter every time for the rest of your life. End the sentence with a special mark. It could be a period. It could be a question mark. This week we're going to focus on periods, okay? Um, we also talked about a strong feeling exclamation point, but that's not what this week's about. What is a complete sentence? Starts with a capital letter, ends with a special mark, and it makes sense. It talks about someone doing some type of action or feeling some type of way. All right? And on that note, have a great day, and I will see you again tomorrow. And we'll talk some more about sentences. All right. Adios.